so this is hopefully the last video you will be seeing me wearing this look <laughs> but i have already prepared everything so i thought why not film it yay um oh i will have filmed four videos today impressive and the eyeshadow still looks good this is the last part in the if I can only pick 10 eyeshadow palettes uh, and just like I said in the other videos this is only eyeshadow palettes and not palettes with you know that I have created myself like then I would have picked you know lethal cosmetics and so on in the other ones but uh, in this one I have taken you know if I could only pick 10 or keep 10 eyeshadow palettes um, and I could only pick eyeshadow palettes that I haven't used and that makes it I'm basing my choices on either because I know it's a good brand uh, and they usually have good eyeshadow formula or what people have said and so this is not as curated as the last video where I actually picked shadows that I know would create every look I think these will create a lot of looks but I'm just taking out 10 palettes that I think would probably be something that I like. I will, everything speaks, what's it called in English? All the things point to that I will really like these palettes. And one is kind of cheating, but really not because I have not used it. <laughs> but yeah, so I have 10 eyeshadow palettes here that I have never used and it's a shame. I have a lot of palettes that I haven't used and instead of you know bringing the shame I'm instead oh these palettes I'm looking forward to use you know kind of and I want to pick some other palettes but I have used some shades in there so I was like no no so let's start with something obvious <laughs> and it's this because I have used the other four uh, Norvina palettes the small one and the three big and I love them they are my best things I have bought in 2019 and I have not used this this is the volume one so I'm just guessing that it's the same quality as the other four palettes and that means I will love it and there are two shimmers and six mattes and one shade that looks like a matte with glitter in it but yeah so I will pick this because without a doubt this is going to be good quality so it's, it's kind of cheating, but it's not because I have not used it. <laughs> then <laughs> uh, I took out the only Kaleidos palettes I have not used, I think, because I've used shades in all the other ones. And I love those. So I took out Astro Pink because I have actually not used this. And there I have actually some neutral eyeshadows and I have some pretty shimmers. Is that a silver? It looks almost like a lavender uh, silver. Ooh, it's a lavender silver. Oh my god. I thought it was just a silver. But it's a duochrome, a pink lavender. Oh my god. I'm so happy about my choice. Now I have swatched it, but yeah, never mind. <laughs> uh, I think I've swatched the blue anyway. But I would definitely take out this because I know this will be a good palette. <laughs> Then I'm taking out a Colourpop palette and it's the one that I'm most excited to use uh, actually and I have liked the other ones I have used so except the Zodiac palette I wasn't that impressed with but it's I like now it's just called Lilac You A Lot. Um, I think this looks so pretty and the shimmers looks so amazing. Uh, I can't wait to use this. Um, I don't have, I have no, I have not used, I've used, it's my pleasure. And I tried to make that shimmer look as beautiful as it does on Paulina, but I can't do it, you know. Have I lipstick here? Yeah, I haven't had this lipstick on for a while and it's, it's starting to break apart and create a really, ignore that. Yeah, but this definitely, and there is a lot of shimmers and a lot of mattes, so... I think that will be good. Then I have two palettes I realized from the same brand. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's from Colored Rain. I would take this. I have all four of these and I have not used any of them. Uh, this is the Loveless. 
do you say loveless or love lies love lies loveless it must be loveless right please say that this is the one with the most interesting color story i think when i looked through them and i have loved queen of hearts and shares to beauty i think i've used as well so i think i will really like this the shadows don't show up that good <laughs> in the camera but it's a really cool military green and then this mauve pink purple and the white yeah but then there is a burgundy red shimmer and a blue matte the dark one and then a mauve shimmer and it looks pretty then the other palette from colored rain is counting as a palette because you can actually buy it as a palette but when i bought it it was singles and it's you know the vivid brights or what it's called it doesn't say so i have the singles but I have put them in the same order as the shadows are in the real palette um, and I I have used the yellow I know uh, but I'm still counting this because one shade out of that does not count and I took that with another yellow so I don't think I have used the other shades it doesn't look like it, it looks like I have swatched it only but yeah this one then I will have my rainbow <laughs> And I know a lot of people like this. Um, I don't know if I'm annoyed or not that I have this version. Because I really like to have the palette that are intended, you know. Uh, but this one I, I can take out if I want to. So I guess that's a good thing. But it doesn't look as pretty as the other palette. Yeah, never mind. Um, but yeah, I would take this one. Then we have five left, right? And even though I have not been that impressed by the other palettes from this brand, um, I'm taking it anyway because this is the favorite. This one is the one that people seem to love the most, and I have high hopes. And I have not hated the other palettes, but I've not been that impressed. And it's the Whale Song palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. Uh, you know it's blues and greens and Lisa swears by this so you know I have swatched this but I have not used it and it's crooked you know how that annoys me let's see if you can see it can you see that it's crooked it's really hard to show you don't care but I care that's freaking annoying Hmm. But yeah, this palette I would definitely take as well. Then I would take the Moon Spell one from Lunar Beauty. Everyone I've seen use this have been impressed. I love the cover and I have swatched the shades because I had to push probe, oh sorry, probe back in because that was coming out when I ordered it. Sorry, it looks terrible. This is also blue, green, pink, <laughs> purple hard to show you but yeah I heard only good things um, and I'm so excited to use this as well and it's one of the prettiest palettes I have uh, I'm really impressed by Lunar Beauty I bought the strawberry dreams palette and that looked so much prettier in real life than it does on the website then I have Viva Taco from Glamlight uh because i think these shades are really interesting i have have i used glam light i don't think i have used them but people say they are really good i have the pizza and hamburger palettes um and this has that shade can you see it's an orange pretty awesomeness with a little pink so it's almost a peachy pink but not really it's more like a fiery orange but there is a little pink in it and i just love it and i think it's it's a fun color story and i think it will be really good god i would have a lot of green shades yeah and the next palette is from a brand that i'm not very happy about because they had terrible customer service that i have said a thousand times but I have high hopes in the formula and that's why I took the palette that looks more most interesting to me right now 
even though I don't like the name. <laughs> it's Kush Queen from Peachy Queen. And it looks like this. So it's greens and yellows and pinks and oranges and blues and the shimmer formula really seems nice and the mattes also. This is like a purpley goldy lavender. It just looks amazing. Ooh. So I have I have high hopes for this palette and it will be fun to try it. Maybe I should have these palettes as the next ones I'm going to use. God, stop swatching people. Oh God, I'm glittery everywhere. Blue everywhere. The last palette is from Yuffy Star Cosmetics. I have two eyeshadow palettes I have not used. No, three. It's the Conspiracy palette and the mini jawbreaker and the big jawbreaker i have not used mine <laughs> and everyone seems to love this um both the ones that of course love every star but also the ones that only love a few of these palettes and i have a lot of color and they are both shimmery and mattes and my friend madeleine swears by this and i trust her I really want to use it. I want to use orange juice. Have I not swatched this? Oh my god. Look! Oh my god! Oh my god. And cotton candy. Okay, I want to use this now. But yeah. So these are the 10 palettes I would pick if I could only pick palettes I had not used. Because I think they're all probably going to be good quality. And maybe I shouldn't take them away and start using them instead. Maybe. Yeah, never mind. Um, so this was part 3. Uh, I hope um, you enjoy this video. No. I don't know but it was fun to do but it was so hard to do uh, that's why I divided it up into three videos I didn't pick 30 palettes uh, but I picked 25 because five were the same um, obviously but yeah tell me what palettes you would have picked um, that you have not used but that you have heard is good um, down below and yeah now I'm going to order some food because it's New Year's. So, bye.